Hi everyone, thank you for going to my website, the kiwiconnection.net and for looking up this YouTube video. So tonight we are going to do a tea leaf reading with Angelina. I typically don't show the, the face of the person I'm doing the reading with, um, <clears throat> but they are on my website if anybody wants to follow up with them with any questions later on. Um, they have given me permission to go on my website to do this reading. Now, this is a tea leaf reading that we're going to be doing, which takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes. Um, <clears throat> so when we sit down, we uh, get spirit to come in, um, and they, once we sit down and start the reading, they can come in, and they'll just be at the side waiting. So when we finish the reading, I ask them to leave in spirit's love and light, I say it out loud or in my mind to spirit and then they leave. Spirit does not come back and follow the person home. Nothing happens. This is all positive and beautiful energy that uh, comes through here. So I'm just going to... Uh, Angelina has had her cup of tea uh, from this beautiful teapot here. And uh, it is loose leaf tea. So we'll just get Angelina to swish her teacup around, tip it upside down in the, the uh, saucer in the napkin, and then I'll start the reading. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to tell you is on the left hand side is the immediate past, the right hand side is the future. Uh, spirit comes in to help you with this reading and um, <clears throat> we just kind of go from there. Alright, so the immediate past, I see um, a hand going up to spirit, I see that there's been a um, a pulling away of a family member. Would you understand that? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, this family member was very, very close to you because yes. I see that there's a really um, a strong hand that's pulling away. And also, this hand will come back and he will visit you. This would be a gentleman. Would you understand that? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yes. Because the hand is very, very strong. Mm -hmm. You would have had a lot of tears when you when this gentleman passed, and um, it seems to me that you would have been younger than this gentleman. Would you understand that? Yes. Okay. So is this your brother? Yes, it sounds like my brother who's okay. recently passed. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. So I see that um, when you were younger, he would have been very protective of you. Would you understand that? Yes, that makes okay. sense, yes. The reason I ask if she understands it is because if not, we'll go back in the energy and clarify things. All right. Okay, so um, I also see that you have been um, away from your family for quite a number of years, for a long period of time, and um, this would be your siblings. Um, I only see the one sibling here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you would have another sibling too, but I don't see that there's closeness, even though there's distance. Would you understand that? Yes, that makes okay. some sense, yes. Okay. Now, um, he's, um, he's showing me here that there was um, a little bit of money left, but not a lot of money. Would you understand that? Uh, not really on that one. I don't know too much about the details of, of that. Okay. The, the money. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, because um, he's showing me um, a little bit of currency flowing up, but not a lot flowing up. Mm -hmm. Okay, would you understand that he would have been cremated? Yes, he was. Okay, that's where it comes from, mm -hmm. being cremated. So um, he wasn't the type of gentleman who, who would have spent money on a huge funeral. He would have rather been um, had minimal, minimal amount spent on him when he passed, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so that is immediately passed there.
Okay, so <clears throat> I see somebody's birthday coming up. So um, there's three women here celebrating a birthday. Would you understand this? Just trying to think of anyone I know. Um, nobody in the immediate family that I know of having a birthday right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But there is... A... I do have a friend whose birthday is okay. coming up in, in May. Okay, yes. all right. Mm -hmm. And it's May the 11th now. So would it be May the 20th? This one's May 15th. Okay. So maybe that's... <clears throat> okay. Because I see three really close friends, three close women friends, um, around a little cake. Okay. And... Um, you will be blowing out candles, well, the person will be blowing out candles. So that's a celebration that you're going to be looking forward to having. So this is also saying your friends are your family here now. Your close friends are your family. Okay, <clears throat> down the road I see um, a tree, like uh, a huge, huge tree. So, when you when you venture out to um, um, other places than, than where you live now, mm -hmm. um, you will come across uh, a forest of, uh, or an orchard of very, very big trees, and you will feel most comfortable in that area. I want to say that they're the, um, you know, big um, kind of like the island trees, uh, like you'd see in the east, the west coast of, of Canada. Is it one tree you see, or you see a few, or is it a forest? Okay, I see one tree up close. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. And then there are tree other trees back, but one tree up close. Okay. This is also telling me that you're not afraid to walk out in nature, and you're not afraid to be by yourself. Do you understand that? Yeah, that is true. <laughs> okay, um, you also stand tall, you do lean, and you do give in, but now you're starting to not give in. So now we're going more into psychic reading. Spirit is just letting us do a little bit of psychic reading here. Um, so you can bend so far, and then that's it, and then you stop, okay? It's like um, the leaves, the wind will push you over one way, and then all of a sudden you're going, hey, what's happening? And then... Um, you don't push back, but you just stop in your tracks. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. I also see a little dog here, a really cute dog with uh, um, a collar on, and uh, he he's got um, what looks like to me a little wee bone in his mouth, one of those chewable ones that that they um, that they demolish when they eat, and also a favorite ball that's a toy around him. Would you understand this? Uh, yes, I do have a dog that has a favorite toy. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, and um, he likes those chewy, those little chewy bones. Would you understand the little bones I mean? He likes, he does like his treats, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. And I see that you're very, very protective of this little dog and he goes everywhere with you pretty much. Yes, pretty much. Yes, yeah. okay. And he just, um, this is just psychically coming in, he just wants you to not worry about his health so much. <laughs> That's the oddest thing. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is quite funny. This is uh, going more into into your animal here. There seems to be a cat that's a neighbor that torments him. Would you understand this? Mm. I don't know any... Or squirrels or... I would think what torments him is rabbits. Definitely rabbits. Okay. Rabbits okay. would be the one. Because I'm seeing that he's gone up to something and sniff it and then it's just out of his reach all the time. Mm. So yes. it's a little bit frustrating for him. Yes, it is because we have a fence where he can see through the fence okay. and it's a green belt and then rabbits are in there and he just goes crazy okay so yeah. that could be that could be it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um this is like he's more curious than anything else yes okay. he's curious yeah okay now let's just go back and we'll 
thank his energy for coming. Typically, I don't bring in animals like this, so this is this means a lot to mm -hmm. you, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to, I'll put a little bit more tea in here for you, and then I want you to swirl it around again, and um, we'll see what else we can come up with. And then just do the same thing. Just mm -hmm. um, okay. yeah, but make sure that you swirl it. Just swirl it around, and then just tip a little bit out. Yeah, and then keep on swirling it around, and just tip it upside down. Don't tip this upside down. Just tip the cup upside down. Let me tip. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Okay, often when we do readings, um, I will do. Um, one or two more little swirls to get more information. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is uh, this is still giving me information on this animal track. So you you are definitely an, an animal lover. Yes, that is okay. true. Love animals. Yeah. Okay. Um, I see a horse sitting down. Um, so you would have passed by a horse recently in your travels? I did. His name was Rabbit. <laughs> the horse? Yes. His name was Rabbit. It was Rabbit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this, this horse seems to be quite unassuming, um, quite peaceful. He was. Okay. He was a very, very sweet horse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So... What's he saying? Yeah, he's just sitting there. Just sitting there. Okay. So that was just uh, in the, the past? In the, I would say the last four weeks. Yeah. Um, he was, I went to horse ride, uh, to see somebody horse riding and I was at the stables. Okay. And so I got attached to this one horse, which I didn't think I was attached to horses, mm -hmm. but obviously I got some kind of connection with this horse and his name was Rabbit so I thought that was kind of cute. Okay, yeah. Okay. So psychically then this horse is coming through. Horse have powerful energy. Mm -hmm. So the energy that this horse is giving you is uplifting you, okay, and empowering you. Um so it would be good if you went back and spent uh, a little bit more time in the energy of this horse if you could do that. Okay. All right. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so this is going a little bit into the future here. So <laughs> I, I see somebody stirring up, stirring things up for you. Did you understand that? Yes, I, I, can, I can see that. I think sometimes people are trying to stir things, stir the pot. Okay, <laughs> all right, okay. Um, so it's like I see a, a mortar and a pestle and the stirring is getting, you know, the more you stir uh, herbs, the, the deeper it gets and the, the, the finer they get, okay? So um, it's like you just have to let this process flow. And so no matter what happens, you will be standing on your feet, okay? That's good to know then. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, um, you also are a very, very independent woman and um, you have a hard time letting somebody tie you down or letting, um, letting somebody in. Um, it's, it seems like, this is quite a picture, it seems like that um, when somebody gets too close to you, you feel like there's a noose around your neck and um, you just kind of want to slither out of it. I can I can understand that. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I can see this that. This is a good thing because yes. you know it's it means that you are just you are very independent, and um, for you it um, it's going to take somebody in your life to be um, just as independent as you are. Okay. I also see you um, traveling to um, like. 
somewhere surrounded by ocean, a long island, because this is, uh, this is your independence coming through. Yes, I love traveling, so that would be nice. Okay. Can you see where I'm going? Does it say, or can you see, think where? Is it just an island? No, <clears throat> just um, some some la large landmass, not not uh, Canada. Okay. <laughs> not North America. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, it, it also says that occasionally you suffer from like stress headaches. Would you understand the stress headaches? Yeah, I, could, I can understand that one, yes. Okay. And they say the more, you, the more you forgive, the less the headaches will come, okay? And so um, they're saying with you, stress builds up and you don't uh, let it go. So the more you forgive, whoever you need to forgive, the easier life will become for you yeah. okay right I'm just going to get you to do that one more time Let's see if you get more water in here. okay yeah just uh just do it very slowly, tip out a little bit at a time, and keep on going around. There you go. Okay. Okay. So this one's quite cozy. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, this is, like, this is now. This is showing me now. This, this is showing me that you, um... You love to sit in front of the TV and watch movies. I, well, I do like TV, and I, I'm not saying too many movies, but definitely mm -hmm. there are certain shows that I do watch. And uh, you also cuddled up, snuggled up in a, uh, a favorite blanket. Yes, I love my blankie. Okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and, uh, and you have your cup of tea beside you. Um, oh, and also... Um, when you when you're in that state of mind, sometimes you just go um, like you just um, kind of float. You float, and it's like you're a little bit in a dream, or in a dream world, but you're not quite in a dream world. And then that enables you to think. You can think as well in that stage or that state of mind. You're thinking as well. I also see there's a a, a bird like um, I'd say a, quite a large hawk above you that is circling you and um, this would be, um, I want to say this would be one of your protectors. They're saying that you don't, you don't need to go out and force things because things come to you easily. When you, when you are in this state of mind, that's when you manifest things um, and that's when, when, when you manifest things, Things will happen. Okay. And that's cuddling up in that blankie. Right? Yes, no, I do enjoy that after my, my work day sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you can probably see this. See, there you are. Mm -hmm. There's your hand and your other hand to your face there and your hair and you cuddle up in the blankie. And then there's the totem um, bird over there. Okay. Mm. Do you, um, I, just a name David came to mind. Do you have anybody in the spirit that you know called David? Uh, no. Okay. All right. That's what they're telling me here. Okay, so um, in six months' time, you will be um, you'll have a huge decision to make, and you will make it. But you are thinking, you're thinking, you're sitting in, you know, wrapped up in your blanket, and that's where you are dreaming that thought and you're manifesting it. So six months' time, you will get um, an aha moment, and um, then you'll go with that 
uh, direction, okay? Okay. Yeah, but I see it, it it's at least six months six down months the road. Six months from now? Yeah. Okay. So that would be what? That would be uh, June, July, August, September, October, November. November, okay. okay. Okay, so the, the last thing that um, uh, Spirit is saying here is that you can throw that ball as high as you want, but it'll always land in a safe place. Okay, so essentially what they're saying, whatever you do, you will land on your feet anyway. Okay, Okay, good to know. That's and it will know. be safe. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay. Well, thank you, Angelina. Thank for you. Let me read your tea leaves and um, we'll just wrap this up and then we'll do another YouTube video with uh, doing a card reading.